justice now. Two years too long. We want 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 justice now. Two years too long. We want. My name's John Paletto. I donate a lot of time. Do a lot of volunteer work. And we're here today um, because Tim DeChristopher was sentenced and they handed down a two-year sentence, which he was up for uh, 10 years, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, Tim DeChristopher actually went in um, and bid on some property that the Bush administration was selling off to oil and gas companies for drilling. Um, and he went in with the intention of disrupting this auction, at, which was later deemed illegitimate. Federal prosecutors put sh for charges and his sentence was handed down today and he ended up getting two years, which is not justice. I mean, we need clean energy now, and that's what we're out here for. Tim DeChristopher did not go in and actually disrupt this, this meeting. There would be no attention to it, and we're not gonna be able to get, get those lands back from these oil and gas companies if there wasn't a, a big deal made about this. Obama actually took the lands back that were auctioned off, but Tim DeChristopher is actually still being charged with uh, felonies. Most of them were actually removed from the auction um, after the Obama administration found out about what was going on. The, the lands are actually being saved. Tim DeChristopher actually built, bid on about 14 uh, parcels of land um, worth $1.8 million um, and he had no intention to pay for the auction and that's why the charges were actually like put, or put on him. It's important because he's been, in, been thrown in jail or going to be about thrown in jail for something that he believes in and really that does not deserve jail time. It was a legal auction. That is breaking the law and that's more damaging than faking a bid. This shady operations go on day by day without anyone realizing what's truly going on below the surfaces. Our federal prosecutors are actually trying to hand down and actually keep things like civil disobedience from happening, which actually have it in, our, in the U.S. has a great and rich history of actually bringing about uh, so great social change. And it's really needed right now. I and mean, we need to push for clean, sustainable, and renewable energy immediately. And we don't have a plan B or a planet B. I mean, this is our planet, and it's really up to us to stand up and actually demand a better place to live and a better world to live in. I mean, our future's on the line, like in this very moment. And it's up to everybody to stand up and, and make something happen. So that's why I'm out here today. I'm not part of rising or a peaceful uprising, but there are national events all over the country. There's actually one in Ghana as well, uh, standing up and getting notice for Tim DeChristopher's sentence that was handed out today. Um, the main event was actually in Salt Lake City and they had a couple hundred people there. They've been singing outside the federal courtroom the entire day. What's the significance of the 70? That was Tim DeChristopher, DeChristopher's bitter number. So what did he bid? No, oh, how much was it? 1.8 million. 1.8 million dollars he didn't happen to have. <laughs> We're taking a stand for Tim and Dick Chris for letting them let people know that he's a hero, um, and this is not justice. I mean, we need climate justice immediately, and this isn't it. We have a major problem in the United States. We are arresting the peacemakers. Went to an auction to stop the sale of land to the oil company, so they could destroy it. He got arrested for it, he got tried for it, and he's going to spend two years in federal penitentiary, and Carl Rove is going to walk around and make it $30,000 a pop. There's something wrong with us. There is something very wrong with the American people. We are a defective group of people. We are putting the wrong people in jail, and the rest of them are all becoming millionaires. What is the matter with us?